So, time to fly over the ocean and see what's on the other side, huh? We do have enough coal, we're down to 36% speed, um, we do have a lot of water consumption, and um, yeah that's the food upgrade. That's done. Okay, how does it require 50% less food? Now we're down to minus um, 0.7, that's good. Now we can research this one. And that'll hopefully uh, help us with water as well. Yeah, that's the first relic. I'm guessing that's the uh, first kingdom, or that one over there maybe. Hmm. Spirit healer giving faith. Four desires need. Oh. Four desires needed. Okay. Why are they not moving? Okay, uh, let's get those relics, and what do we have here? Oh yeah, that's food. That's good, that's good. We need a lot of that. Is there some water away as well? Water, water, over here? Yes. Okay, we can resupply here. More relics. What's that? Ancient tower. A spire built by the ancients long ago now sets as a beacon um, through these murky lands. So many ancient ruins from a bygone era stood in those days, though many are now collapsed and lost. The dream of that great society is ever present. Oh. And a small settlement. We are looking for recruits. Bullet. Ah. He can gather some quartz as well. Need two more houses. That should be good enough. That's too far, move a bit more over here. Unknown ruin. It's really hard to see with all this fog over here. Eternal Forge. A large forge glows hot with colored sparks. Though the nearby settlement has been long abandoned, the metal box is similar color to other sparks emanating from the forge. The colors of our metals. New customization options. Okay. Drain all the water and then what else do we have here? Once that's done, 
We're gonna collect all the food and then we can move over to the next kingdom. empty cotton ladder collect cotton huh a new resource idle workers right now maybe I should build one of um, maybe I should build a charcoal hut considering that um, we probably won't be getting much charcoal to keep everything um, flying iron forge that's a charcoal hut decreases discomfort range Good, and then I'm gonna build a charcoal hut over here. Should only require four workers, that means we have nine left to gather stuff. And who are you? Cora Bay. You fly towards a small outcropping of islands ahead of us, curious of the structures we can see in through the mist. On our approach we begin to hear loud shouting and we brace for the unknown, yet as we knew, we note that the shouts are in fact cries of rejoice, cheers are emanating among loud whoops and shrill laughter. Mm. The shadows had been expecting us and could not contain their joy for they know of the prophecy and that the Airborne Kingdom helps them all. The legend of the Airborne Kingdom had to, uh, turned to doctrine in these lands, for in the distant past they were bountiful and rich, but through overuse they sank into the shallows, and the Airborne Kingdom would signal a new beginning for all. Music fills the air, meant to celebrate our arrival in Cora Bay, but in the melody sadness echoed, we learned that the chorus had chorus, yeah, um, had nearly finished their masterpiece, the grand harm, but they had lost it to the storms. The barge that held the nearly completed instrument and its final construction materials was washed away in the last enormous dodge, the, the lodge. The same that still kept the lands flooded. If we could find the grand harp and return it to Cora Bay, harmony would resume again. This is a task for an airborne kingdom and would prove our prophecy to the Koras and to ourselves. Their music masters had toiled on finishing, uh, no, toiled on finding a symphony worthy of such instruments. And when the central piece had gone missing, the song's harmony sounded only of melancholy. We shall find the Grand Harp. Uh, what kind of technology do we have here? Balloon. Uh, generates lift. Low cost, no fuel, one worker. Poor lift. We need that one. And greenery. Provides comfort to inhabitants, plus one comfort. Adjusted less pleasant construction. Can be clamped together infinitely. So only one part of a clump must touch a path. And here we can buy coal or other stuff, but we don't need that right now. That's clay. The charcoal hut is producing 1.1 per hour.
Cotton metal, cotton metal. And that's where we're supposed to look for the Grand Harp. Okay. That should be over here, right? Yeah, somewhat. Um, decrease discomfort range, storage, lift. Increases lift by 50%. We are still missing one proportion building. And that's the greenery. And that should unlock everything else. Are you sure you want to start this research with regret production building for construction and resource? Had not yet. Uh, okay. We need this one first. Good. No problem, we can do that first. Done. Now we can research this one. We have some cotton on the way. And yeah, that unlocked everything over here. Wait. Um, wait a second. Let me look at what we got. So the greenery provides comfort. That unlocks the temple. Plus 10 comfort while also providing faith. And the tea garden. Plus 5 comfort and health. Increases comfort, increases range. These are some very powerful buildings. Do I need that? No. This one? Maybe I'm gonna research the increase efficiency once. And uh, I guess we should build one of them. It requires three workers. Okay. Ah. Um, we can place this over here, maybe. Yeah. Uh, let's find the uh, Grand Harp. Maybe over here. Ah, uh, no research. Wait, why are we not? Decrease discomfort range. Probably pretty useful. Additionally, it provides a comfort of home and inhabitant windmill. Uh, now, let's research these first. And more customization options. Okay. Um, I don't see any charcoal here. That's actually a problem. I don't want to run out of it since I'm guessing that would mean that the entire thing crashes to the ground. That would be bad. Barge settlers. 
He asked of Korobay. A barge floats in the middle of the shells, large enough to house a small settlement of people. The floats um, was wide enough to house dozens of inhabitants. Its resources all coming from the sea as it drifted among the lands. The ask of Korobay, knowing that the Korals had lost their own barge. The settlers admit they do not know the barge's origin, but they refuse to give up their new home. When we mention at the Grand Harp, however, they know what we want. They had taken apart the instrument, using its wood and fine strings as tools to hold together their own settlement. They agree to gather its stray parts for us, understanding the importance of our task. The Grand Harp is broken, but we must return its part to Cora Bay and see what can be salvaged. We wound to pieces in the string, still marveling at their expert construction. For though they had been torn apart, all the craftsmanship still shone. Mm. So yeah, that's the barge and they took the instrument apart to build, um, basically <laughs> keep themselves, um, yeah, to make a home for themselves. So. That means we probably have to rebuild it. There's another settlement here and another settlement over there. Oh, let's gather some st oh. Storage is full and research is not happening. Uh, desires tea garden. So, warehouse. Yeah. That will work. Another small settlement. Come and join. And. Another small settlement. Four more people. That's good, good. We are still expanding. Okay. garden gives comfort and provides health. The temple gives comfort and provides faith. But they require a lot of people to work. I probably won't be able to use them right now. fly back and give them the remaining parts. Quartz mine. I don't think we need that right now.
12 workers are available. We returned with the broken instrument to the chorus. While we thought that they would be disappointed in its state, they are rejoiced by its return. They claim they can fix the harm and stand mounted on its perch. They need aid and materials to do so. The music masters will re uh, renewed? renewed by the sight of the grand harp. They began composing all new melodies to take advantage of its assumed ascendance. Oh, we can repair it. Let's gather some clay and cotton while we're on the way. cost high fuel balloon low cost no fuel average cost average fuel one worker poor lift provides five lift provides 30 lift and what i need one worker to operate this The harp ascends to the top of its perch, and a glorious melody consumes everyone. The chorus are now in rhythm with the world, and are ready to become our allies. A few of the workers even join us. 3. We must build them a sky beacon to reconnect them with the rest of the lands. Their music was not merely notes and triads. Tri it became a whirlwind, almost visible around us. There are colors in their songs, which I have never felt again. Construct the skyport. Let's build those workers some homes. And I think now we can build another uh, charcoal hut over here. Make sure we have enough fuel. Do you have enough wood? Four per hour from our allies and a lot of wood down below. And with that, we have another ally. We are now allied with Cora Bay. With the sky beacon complete, Cora Bay is now connected to us and its neighbors. They send the customary five inhabitants, descendants of the representatives of the old Great Council, to aid in our remarking, a remaking of this legend. They also supply us with plus six cotton every day. Now that they are connected to the skies, it should be easy. Huh. Uh, four. And we need another lift building. Mm, the fan provides 30. So, where do we place one? 
noted issues. Over here. This one provides 30, but requires one worker. Vertical motor, average cost, high fuel. Mm. Maybe we can afford one of those buildings now. Comfort and faith. Comfort and health. Providing faith. Health for 20 inhabitants. Um, desires, temper. Oh, I guess they are being provided with faith, so I should probably do the tea garden instead. Uh, resources. That should, that should be it, right? Oh, not the water tower. The tea garden. Five assigned, plus five comfort and health. Inhabitants were near comfort. More nearby comfort. Four desires needed. Black house. Oh, over here. They want more comfort over here. Yeah. Greenery. Yes, plus one comfort. How about that? Better? Oh yeah, they need to uh, build it first. And... Here it is. Wishes have more nearby comfort. Minus 38 overall comfort. Minus ah. Oh. I need a lot more of those. Um, 0.5 lift. This one gives plus 10 comfort. And faith. This one plus 5. I require 3 lift. The uh, greenery is more efficient. Just gonna build a lot more of those. Uh, wait, where is it? Oh. Here, yeah, we still got some room here and there. Yeah. good way to fill out of those uh, holes. That uh, was the tea garden upgrade. And it does provide five comfort so we can just increase that as well. And how much charcoal? 1.6. 1.1 power in fans. I think I need one more, actually. Charcoal, they require four people. I currently have eight working on construction and two idle. 
That means I would have six workers left. That's doable. the wrong direction. We want to move over here. Yeah, that's it. Now we have enough charcoal to power everything. Minus 20 overall comfort. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Should probably take that. That's that one, and we can increase it even more. My workers are busy. Uh, and that's the next kingdom. So, who do we have here? Ashrock Landing. Everything is shared with an Ashrock landing, including clothing, clothing, and housing. Nothing belongs to anyone, and there is no ruler. For even among the people of the shadows, the completeness of their equal partition was unrivaled. To them, it verged on benevolence. They have a request. They have a request for the prophecy tells of the Abun Kingdom aiding the people, and their people need help. Though Ashrock Landing contains plentiful uh, food and water and cotton, they lack many construction resources. We see many temporary shelters atop the black steps. If we could build more permanent homes with our resources, it would prove the legend undoubtedly true. The legend's undoubtedly true. The Shallows viewed complete equality as an utmost tenant. Permanent shelter was periodically uh, rotated so none suffer displacement alone and all needed a true home for their own. Uh, homes for the shallows. We do have enough people and um, resources to do that. They have a sale. Generates proportion. High cost, no fuel. Four workers, high speed. High cost, no fuel. 